Probably one of my favorite experiences is just being out there with the sheep. Running sheep for a livelihood, it is really rough and you're usually around people who also have really rough nature. Hi, I'm Spencer and I am a shepherd from Davenport, Washington. When I was younger, I thought it was a whole bunch of work and you know running sheep for a business or for a livelihood man that is tough um but honestly uh for myself if i don't think i would run sheep for a livelihood that would be very difficult and very hard i would probably move to cattle <laughs> Even even when I was little, little, I always thought if I'd ever get into the herding business, it would be cattle. We practically run uh, sheep for weed control. Otherwise, we would have to spray. Uh, we have a lot of ground, and we would have to go out there um, a, maybe even a couple of times a year and spray. That'd be just a pain. Uh, with the sheep, it, we, we fence off the area, you put them in there, they eat everything. And while you're doing that, you can also eat the sheep. Sometimes it's fun, uh, sometimes it's not, but you know, it's just what we gotta do. Now we're a business, and the sheep business is practically a family business. Um, it's one of those things that my mom started when she was like, oh, 25, I think. My dad's always been around the livestock and farming, um, and so it is. It is definitely. And my my grandpa and great grandpa, they were all cattle ranchers. A couple of them ran sheep. So yes, it, it does run in the family. There is a uh, very good likely of getting hurt on a horse um, if you're checking fence. I've had horses tangle their legs up in the, the uh, uh, electric wire. We run this rope electric wire, very flimsy. Um, I've also had my horse step in a reel of bob wire. And fortunately, he did not freak out, otherwise he'd be like, gone. Um, but there's other accidents that could very well happen. When I broke my arm, it was a horse accident. I think it was off one of our horses and I forget what I was doing. I could have been um, just out there for the fun of it. That broken arm did not change my thoughts about horses because we use horses to check the fence. The horse that I'm currently using a lot is a index. It's a cross between a thoroughbred and a quarter horse. His name's Cowboy. I really like him. The past horses that I've used um, were mainly just quarter horses. We run mainly quarter horses. They're a good sturdy horse uh, and they get the job done. Sometimes if I am in a hurry and need to get a, like, if I need to check the sheep, if I need to run the fence line, um, he is just something that's out there to help me move. Uh, but if I'm out there kind of uh, plodding along and while doing that, checking the horses, it, it, he is very fun to ride and yeah, he's more of a trusted. We have a lot of coyotes and they became a real hassle last year. We had 17 lambs get killed last year because of coyotes and bobcats. Usually I'm out either because I'm checking the fence 
or checking the uh, livestock. If there is a threat to our sheep, we usually hop out right away, but for the most part this year, we haven't had any problems. Uh, last year, we couldn't, we absolutely could not get the cows, there's so many. Two twenty three is my preferred way. Because hunting for coyotes I use a two twenty three because I could sell the hide, make some money off the hide. When I kill a predator that has been uh, harassing our sheep, yes, it is like I got this predator and he is not gonna be eating any more of our sheep. It's something that, yeah, we protect our sheep, but um, when I see one, it's like, oh, that one's hamburger. Uh, and that one might be our meal next time. But no, it's, it's one of those things that if we're out there, and, uh, it, it, it's pretty cool. I don't feel much connection except for my stomach, but. <laughs> 